YouTube, what is up? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's DTV, and I'm back with another banger. And today, I'm going to be checking out a video that was suggested via donation, and it is to Bo Burnham. Can't handle this. Kanye rant. Do me a solid. Before we go any further, if you could drop a like and a comment on this video for the algorithm, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, we are on the road to 100,000 subscribers, and we almost there, but I need your help. If you're watching my content, enjoying my content, but you're not part of the family yet, we got to change that. So go ahead and smash that subscribe button, turn post notifications on, set them to all so that you don't miss a thing. But uh, y'all ready for this one, man? Let's run it, baby. Bo Burnham can't handle this. Kanye rant. Let's get it. Let's go. I went to Kanye West recent tour, the Yeezus tour. It was a big, dramatic, theatrical show. He did something very strange at the end of his show where he ranted for like 20 minutes. It was kind of a rant, kind of a song. He had auto-tune on his voice, and there was an instrumental in the background, like this instrumental. He talked about his problems. That sounds like that Sunday service stuff that Kanye does. Oh, but this is 2016. Race, Never mind. Power. His $90 t-shirts weren't selling very well. That was most of it. <laughs> and I watched this. I mean, think about it, man. Have y'all seen Kanye West's clothing line? Like, it's it's plain. It's it's simple. Like, I wouldn't pay $90 for it. I don't I maybe his like his 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 diehard supporters, you know what I mean? Day one Kanye fans, maybe they will. But I don't know. I, I can't pay $90 for an all-white tee, all-black tee. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's just not me. It's just not me. You feel me? But let's run it. Let's run it. His $90 t-shirts weren't selling very well. That was most of it. And I watched this. I thought maybe I could do this. I'll be honest. My problems are not as high stakes as Kanye's, but I have problems. Facts. And maybe a crowd in New York would be nice enough to indulge me. So as we get to the end of a night of theater and comedy and sweaters coming on and off. I got one question for you. And that question is. Can I say my shit? Oh, New York. Shit. Can I say my shit? I got lots of shit to say. I got lots of shit to say. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, bro. That that was fire. Bo Burnham and and, and auto tune. It's a yes for me. It's a yes for me. Let's run it. I can't fit my hand inside a Pringle can. <laughs> me I neither. have a huge amount of trouble fitting my hand inside of a Pringle can. I can get my hand like four inches into the can, but then I have to tilt the can into my mouth. But by that point, a bunch of crumbs have accumulated at the bottom of the can, so they all go spill it onto my face. What I'm trying to say is the diameter of Pringle cans is way too small. Facts. I'll say it again, the diameter of Pringle cans is way too small. Two radiuses of a Pringle can is way too small. If you feel me, put your hands up. Both Come hands, up. bro. If you feel me, put your hands Both up. Both hands. Look at all these hands. That are way too big to fit inside a Pringle can. <laughs> Your hands are too big to fit inside a Pringle can. Your hands are too big to fit inside hey, a Pringle can. You think you can? I know you can. You think you can? Pringles, listen to the people. I am sure 90% of the complaint letters you get are about the width of your cans. Just make them wider. <laughs> that ass, yo. I've overdone the Pringles thing. Sorry. Yo, that ass, bro, like, as a kid, right? Like, I was able to put my arm in a Pringles can all the way to the elbow. I kid you not. And the reason I remember that is because I remember having two empty Pringle containers and I would wear them, you know what I mean? On my, on my hands, all the way down on my forearms. Like I was some sort of like, like robot and shit. But now, like the homie Bo Burnham just said, four inches. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not big enough. We gotta, we gotta make Pringles great. You feel me? 
Y'all gotta, y'all gotta fix that, Pringles. Y'all gotta address that. But let's run it. Let's keep on. Make them wider. I've overdone the Pringles thing. Sorry. I wanna have a daughter. Wanna have a daughter. Oh, okay. So I can finally have someone around the house who can fit their hands in a Pringle can. Yes, I'm still on the Pringle can thing. Yeah. I'll, I'll move on, all right? Yo, I swear to God, I thought he was on to the next. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. Fucking Bo. I'm still on the Pringle can thing. Yeah. I'll, I'll move on. Yo, he's right? mad, mad about that. But that is priority numero uno. I don't go to the gym because I'm self-conscious about my body. Oh. But I'm self-conscious about my body because I don't go to the gym. Irony can be so painful. Yo, that is a bar, bro. Listen to this. I don't go to the gym because I'm self-conscious about my body. But I'm self-conscious about my body because I don't go to the gym. Oh my God. I don't go to the gym because I'm, I'm self-conscious about my body. But I'm, 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 I'm conscious about my body because I don't go to the gym. Bro, what the? F that is some real shit right there. But I'm self-conscious about my body because I don't go to the gym. Irony can be so painful. That's a catch-22. Let's do this. I went to Chipotle. Went to Chipotle. Chipotle's fire. Got myself a chicken burrito. Just saying. Got <laughs> myself a chicken burrito. <laughs> I went down the line, I got like all these ingredients, and then at the end of the line, the guy tried to wrap the burrito, but half of the shit inside the burrito spilled out, he still wrapped it. I was like, dude, you should have warned me. You're a burrito expert, you should have told me halfway through, hey man, you might be reaching maximum burrito capacity here. No bullshit. Dude, you don't want a messy burrito. No one wants a messy burrito. The whole Bro, that's some real shit. Cause I've ne bro, never in my life at Chipotle has anyone ever said, yo, you know, it might be hard to roll it. You know what I mean? Like, like now that you're adding the 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 cheese or, or or whatever the case may be, I've never gotten a warning. You know what I'm saying? I've seen them roll the shit, and then the food comes out, the burrito. So then sometimes they get another tortilla and and, and double wrap it because one tortilla wasn't enough. What? I don't know, bro. I don't know. You can make two. Once they give you that, that second tortilla, though, life hack, life hack, you can make two burritos out of it. Split this shit in half. You feel me? But uh, let's keep going. Here. Do you think I want a messy burrito? No one wants a messy burrito. Facts. The whole appeal make of facts. a burrito is that all of the ingredients are contained within the confines of the tortilla. I wouldn't have gotten half this shit if I knew it was going to fit in the burrito. All right, look. <laughs> I wouldn't have got the lettuce if I knew it wouldn't fit. Wouldn't have got the cheese if I knew it wouldn't fit. Wouldn't have got the peppers if I knew they wouldn't fit. I wouldn't have got, 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 got half of it like I'm okay with small mistakes. If you got no more chicken, I'll take pork. But I'll blow my dad before I eat a burrito with a fork. Wouldn't have got the lettuce if I knew it wouldn't fit. What? Hold on. Or chicken, I'll take. I'm okay with small mistakes. If you got no more chicken, I'll take pork. But I'll blow my dad before I eat a burrito with a fork. <laughs> <laughs> Homie said he'd blow his dad before he'd ever eat a burrito with a fork. Like, I wouldn't go that far, but I'm not going to eat a burrito with a fork either. You know what I'm saying? But damn. This brother is hilarious. Yo, I bang with Bo. Bo is that dude. Half 
Like my biggest problems are Pringle cans and burritos. The truth is, my biggest problems, you. I want to please you, but I want to stay true to myself. I want to give you the night out that you deserve, but I want to say what I think and not care what you think about it. Oh. A part of me loves you, part of me hates you, part of me needs you. Part of me fears you. And I don't oh, think that shit. I can handle this right now. Handle this right now. I don't think that I can handle this right now. I don't think that I can handle this right now. I don't think that I can handle this right now. I don't think that I can handle this right now. Look at them, they're just staring at me like, come and watch the skinny kid with a steadily declining mental health. And laugh as he attempts to give you what he cannot give himself. I don't think that I can handle this right. I don't think that I can handle this right. But they don't even know the herb of this right. But they don't even know the herb of it. But I know I'm a doctor, I'm a pussy, I put on a silly show. I should probably just shut up and do my job, so here I go. When I got the letters, if I knew it wouldn't fit. Would oh my god, bro. That went from, from cracking you the hell up, getting you comfortable, to, alright, listen, let's, let's talk about what's really going on. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. This brother touched on on something that a lot of content creators, whether they're comedians, singers, uh, YouTubers, whatever the case may be, man. A lot, a lot, a lot of content creators are afraid to speak up on shit like that. You know what I'm saying? The homie said, "Listen, I love you guys, but at the same time, you know what I mean. You guys are also." What, what what keeps me up at night, what stresses me. Because I got to make sure that you're happy and I got to give you something that I don't even give myself. You know what I mean? Bro. Wow. That was, that was impactful right there. I rock with it. I rock with it. I'm so here I go. When they got the letters, if I knew it wouldn't fit. When they got the cheese, if I knew it wouldn't fit. Wouldn't have got the peppers if I knew they would have. Wouldn't have got half. You can tell them anything if you just make it funny, make it rhyme. And if they still don't understand you, then you will run it one more time. They gotta get Did y'all catch that? Wouldn't have got half. You can tell them anything if you just make it funny, make it rhyme. And if they still don't understand you, then you will run it one more time. He said, you can tell them anything as long as it's funny and it rhymes. Damn. And if they still don't understand you, then you will run it one more time. They got on your head all this time. Good night. I hope you're happy. Bro, that deserved a standing ovation. That was real. That was as real as it gets. Homie even mic drop and everything. I hope you're happy. And, 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 and walked out. I hope you're happy. Yo, shout out to Bo, man. For keeping it a hundred with himself, keeping it a hundred with the crowd, you know what I mean? 
That took a lot of balls. Mental health, man, it's a real thing. It's a real thing, and it definitely needs more light shed on it. You know what I'm saying? But, yo, sound off in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on Bo Burnham's Can't Handle This. Kanye rant. And let me know what is next from the homie Bo that I got to check out that I haven't checked out yet. But, y'all, I'm going to end this video right here. If you made it to the very end, you're the real MVP, baby. No cap. If you enjoyed this video, y'all know what to do. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, gang. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Peace. Yo, real quick, gang, before you go, I'm excited to announce that as of today, our official Dysfunctional TV merch is live. If you want to continue to support the channel and continue to support myself by copping some merch, go ahead and click the link that is right here. It'll take you straight to it, man. Huge shout out to everybody. Huge shout out to everybody that made this possible. And that includes you watching this video right now. I'm out, y'all. Peace.